All right, we're back to doing another sparring breakdown video. Today we have Sam in the left, we will be calling Waffle. And we got Luke, we're sporting a double brown belt today for his uh, sparring. Luke left one of his belts at the gym, brought another one, so we decided he was gonna wear two. So we got double brown belt versus fresh white belt. See Sam working in for his, his takedown here. He's a little hesitant. Luke hitting a nice little sweep here right away. Starts looking to set up a triangle here from the back, very Judo-esque. You see him trying to create that space to pass his leg through. Doing a good job cinching that leg forward. Again, just uh, getting that angle he needs so he can lock his foot. Wedges everything into place and finishes with a reverse triangle. So, excellent little transition there to get things started. There's tons of submissions in this one, so I'm only going to pick a few to actually break down. But uh, we got a lot of nice rolling here, so... Uh, we'll just kind of point him out as we go here. Again, Sam, uh, still new to jiu-jitsu, kind of like really still getting comfortable working his way in. And you can kind of see that with his gripping. Sam uh, still a bit off base, getting used to finding his sense of balance. Uh, Sam really uh, trying to use frames here well to cover his guard, but you can see, you know, Luke's a very experienced brown belt, um, very experienced grappler, so he's just good at creating that space and shutting things down. You can see Luke kind of inching his way in here. It's a nice X pass and moves the knee on belly. Again, Sam mostly staying flat, you know? So like, one of the things I really got to work on with Sam here is, is, is a couple things you, you can see right away. Actually, as we pause here, you see he's doing a good job of staying on his side, but he's overextending his frames quite a bit. This is leaving his arms very vulnerable. Uh, he's doing a better job of shelling up here. So it's moving his way to top position. See Luke right away moving into his triangle, so it's kind of bait there on Luke's part. And uh, yeah, just uh, Sam being very far forward when he's stuck here in guard. So like Sam, if you're watching, or Waffle, I should say, uh, you're one of the things that's making it so easy for Luke to catch you in the triangle is your posture, right? Because your shoulders are not over your hips, because you're you're kind of driving forward here. It's going to be very hard for you to escape the triangle. What you want to do is bring your shoulders over your hips. So you want to have a, a wider sense of base with your knees and making sure you have good posture. And this is a very common thing beginners do is they don't react when the triangle comes and they allow their posture posture to be broken. So this is part of the reason Luke makes an easy adjustment here and finishes this triangle choke. So Luke trying to hit all the triangles possible. We'll see if he hits our inverted triangle next. We'll get, get all the triangles today. So again, Sam kind of his approach here on passing is still a bit hesitant. He's only using that one hand. And he's trying to circle, so we're starting to create some good angles here. And this is very common from, from beginners. They're a bit hesitant with their passing. There's a lot of movement. Sam trying to pass, finding his balance. And again, you can see Sam's kind of struggle to find his base. Uh, I find this often with my students that are tall. They have a hard time finding their sense of base. You can see already here too, Sam's too far forward in the position, right? So uh, I can tell by how high his hips are. His hips are very high here because he's tall and he's trying to stay tight to Luke's shoulder here, which is not necessarily where he wants to be. Uh, what Sam wants to do is move his whole body back in this direction. Okay, if he moves his body back in this direction, um, he'll be much heavier and be in better position with Luke. He also could drop this hip down to the floor. If he kind of makes these adjustments, um, it would put him in much better position with Luke, uh, where Luke's carrying more of his weight and he would feel more in balance. So you can see Sam trying to make an effort here to kind of get some, some pin going. Luke does an easy job recovering his guard because of those high hips and starts making his way to Waffle's back. And again, Waffle kind of going belly down here, which is something we want to try to avoid doing when, uh, you know, anyone's taking our back. We, we don't want to uh, expose ourselves to back mount. Back mount is definitely one of the hardest positions to escape from. And uh, we see Luke setting up a nice arm lock here. Hitting a nice roll through on this and, and finishing in that spiral arm lock position. So really nice transition. I don't think there was a whole lot Waffle could have done to get out of that one. 
some really nice transitions. That I, I would say the best thing that we're seeing from Sam is a new white belt. He's, he's really actively trying to move, so he's not he's not climbing up. He's trying things, and this is these are the guys that get good. You know, the ones that stay really active. So again, uh, Luke doing a good job here, just kind of navigating through, kind of playing around. Waffle doing a good job looking for grips here, scooting in, and he's kind of pulling himself into a position where he tends to get a little lost in, so this is a good thing that we can work on. Uh, he ends up spinning right into Luke's guillotine. Common, common reaction that or common setup you could hit off that back step. So a nice transition here. And uh, I think this might be our last one. We got a couple more. It's just on fire here, setting up submissions. It's a nice back step again. Again, a hard position for a lot of people to play. Sam actually not doing a bad thing here, trying to get a bridge going, but Luke just does a good job of using it to transition back into the mount. He's already got his knee through, so he's going to have a couple submission options here. Luke just looking to pass his leg over, it looks like. Sam opens his guard, which actually helped Luke move into a better mount position. So this will open up more submissions for him. A big bench press here from, from Sam, which left him a little bit exposed. Sam didn't, or Luke didn't take the arm lock, though. Again, staying heavy here, kind of pinning, giving Sam some more opportunities to work. Again, pinning from this mounted position. Sam needs to make more of an effort to bridge. Working on those bridging motions important, especially for beginners. Sam gets caught in a nice belly down arm bar from the mount here. So yeah, I just want to go back and look at that last one again real quick because there's a little tactical error that Sam's making with his bridge. I'll try to catch it. You see one bridge and uh, it's a good example why this uh, this position's failing him when he's trying to escape. Let's see if we can catch it here. I think it's right here. Yeah, right there. You see when Sam kicked his legs to bridge, they slid out underneath him. This is super common in beginners when they when they don't understand how to bridge, is they do this like push away bridge where their legs slide out, under, uh, slide out away from them. And it has to do with how they're bridging. And it typically happens when people try to bridge straight up, and it happens when they don't keep their feet connected to the mat. So you can see already even here he's pushing with his heels, which is great if you're doing like hip thrusters when you're lifting weights, but in Jiu Jitsu you usually want to push with your whole foot. So because he's only pushing with his heels, this is part of the reason why his bridge had no no effect on Luke. So it's very important when you bridge, you always bridge over a shoulder, unless you're trying to create that, that, unless you're just trying to pull Luke forward. But in this situation, the way he wanted to go was over that shoulder, and he needs to make sure he's making good contact with the ground with his feet. And this is very common I see in beginners, it's this slide away kind of bridging motion that uh, hurts their ability to escape the position. So Waffle, if you're watching, we gotta work on that bridge, buddy. It's gonna make a big difference for you, and it'll uh, help you not get caught in arm bars like this one. So yeah, I hope you you guys found this video useful. I'm not sure if there's much left on this. Um, not 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 a bad role from either of these guys. You see Luke just doing a really good job of playing, uh, opening up his game, trying new things, and you see Waffle doing what a lot of white belts do, which is just survive. But the important thing that he's doing is he's moving, right? This is how you grow in jiu-jitsu, you take those risks, and uh, you know we're gonna keep seeing Waffle get better. So yeah, I hope you guys liked what you watch. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, see you soon.